It's time for Nailed, Nailed it, it or, or Failed it. it. Halloween is coming up. It's going to be here before we know it. Yep. And I know you might be planning a little Halloween party, especially because we couldn't really have them last year. Yes. So today, a cute little dessert that you can make that's really easy to do. We're going to make chocolate covered pretzels, oh. but they're in the shape of spider webs. Oh, okay. okay, so you're going to grab some pretzels here. So grab, you're going to need eight of them. So go ahead and grab a little handful. Because <laughs> there's eight of us and he makes nine. <laughs> What's that from? One. Yeah, yeah, so would my sister, but I wouldn't bring ah, her. Ah, Sandlot. Ah. I didn't get that one. Ah. Okay. okay. Okay, so now you're going to make it into a little web. Okay, so just going to space oh, yeah. them out here. Yes. Nope. Yes. I did six. It's a sparkle. Yeah. There you go. Like that, okay? So all one side of your pretzel stick needs to meet in the middle, okay. in the center, making like a little star. So far, so good? We're getting yeah. there? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, five six. six. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're good. All right, All right we're good, we're good. Okay, nine. great. Okay, so now you need your frosting. So they come in these really, really nice little um, already done for you oh, pastry nice. bags, which is nice. I don't like melting chocolate. I always do it wrong, and then you have to find a pastry bag and cut it open, all that. This is already like done for you, yes. which is really, really great. However, there's a little part on this that like, that's where you can tear it off. That's gonna to be too big for this project. So you're going to need to cut so that your frosting comes out in a thinner line, if that makes sense. Okay, so now what you wanna do is you're gonna push down your frosting and you could do white or ch white chocolate or regular Ooh. chocolate. And this is the tricky part. So I'm gonna show you guys first how we do this because you're gonna to need to apply the same pressure up here to get the frosting to go down and make your circles at the same time. So watch and learn. Okay. So you're gonna twist. Oh, there it goes. Get the frosting out. You're gonna start in the middle and then you're gonna keep twisting. Keep twisting. Oh, I see. As you make a circle. Uh, oh, okay. Keep twisting good. on the top. Yeah, so. Keep twisting. This is gonna be your arm workout. How are you doing? Oh, you are really good. <laughs> keep twisting. Andrew, if you wanna muscles. give it a go with that. Should I go with the Yeah, uh, go for here? it, yep. Go for it, Roy. Uh, keep <laughs> twisting. Uh. Oh, yeah, you really have to apply pressure with this. Oh, my gosh. Okay, <laughs> that's all I can get right now. John, you try now. So twist on the top and, and then twist aim and with shout. the bottom. Twist, twist, and so twist with your right hand, aim with your left. <laughs> Lord. Come on. That come looks on. really good, Andrew. Look at that. Yes, and that looks amazing. Good work. Yeah, I never know like where to end, where, where to end that? it, right? Yeah, but that yeah, looks yeah, really, really good. Around. You see Andrew's? That is that. Wow, Stutsky. Mine is not that great. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's see how you're doing, John. You're doing good. You're getting you're, there. Right? It's kind of hard, uh, right? Man, twist, you, twist, you twist, twist. Lying. Yeah. Look at your arms are shaking. Yeah. <sighs> wow. You could do it. Come on. You can do little, it. Little wow, more pressure. Little little more pressure. pressure. Parchment paper is great mm. because as it dries, even if it touches the parchment paper, we'll be able to kind of pop them off. Oh, yeah. Okay. My web broke. That's okay. All right. Well, that's good. This is really good. Let's take a look. Move your frosting away so everybody can see your beautiful work. Oh, that's good. That. Oh, no. Hey, I think that's great. Okay. So this is what they look like after they sit in the fridge for about an hour or so, or you could just let them sit oh. at room temperature oh, and they'll harden and then you'll be able to hopefully oh grab these, it all yep, at one grab, grab it all at thing. once <gasps> and they'll make mine still needs a little bit of time but look at that oh my little gosh. spider web chocolate covered pretzels for your Halloween party. it's beautiful Nailed it? yeah absolutely Nailed Nailed it. It, yeah great thing to do with the kids too they would love the frosting I know I would